Good morning. Well, if we'll all go ahead and try to take our seats, what we'd like to do is get started. I know we've got a few people still trying to finish up at the registrations, and, but uh, uh, first thing I want to say is welcome to the Texoma Cattlemen's Conference. This is our first meeting of what we intend to be an annual event. And uh, I want to thank everybody for taking their time today, choosing to spend it with us. And uh, with that, I think what we, with the situation that we've experienced this last year, as well as what we're seeing at this point in time in the cattle industry, I think this is one of the probably most timely events that we've had and, and hosted here at the Noble Foundation in some time. Uh, I'll be introducing the speakers uh, throughout the day, but I think we've got one of the best lineup, lineups of speakers relative to being experts in forage, forage production as well as livestock and ag economics that we could probably uh, line up. Uh, these folks you'll see are truly experts not, not only within the region, but they're also renowned across the, na across the nation. So with that, uh, we're pleased to, to host this event, and as you can see, the, the, uh, the focus on it is trying to look at, at how do we need to manage as we move forward after the drought of 2011, and I don't think we'll, we'll soon forget it. I'd like to make a few introductions before we get started. Uh, first, I'd like to recognize our vendors that are participating here today. As we know, you know between the speakers and the vendors, that's what makes an event. And with you as uh, participants here, I know that we enjoy it a whole lot more when we have the opportunity to visit with the people that are our allied industry affiliates in which we get to know a little bit about what they're doing, what they can provide for our industry and for us as in, in our operations. So take a little time and visit with them. They've been gracious enough to extend uh, a number of door prizes. In fact, the majority of the door prizes that we'll have today, and we do have a significant number of them, uh, if, if you don't win one, well, you probably just, just were unlucky today. But what we want to do is, is make sure that you keep your little tickets that they, they gave you as you came in. That's going to be the, the, you know, the, the, uh, the calling card whenever we begin to announce the, uh, the winners on the drawings. We'll be doing that throughout the break as well as at lunch. So keep those handy and we'll, uh, hopefully everybody will have an opportunity to, to take something home. And again, I want to thank all the vendors for being here and participating with us today as we uh, look forward to uh, hosting this event uh, this morning and this afternoon. Uh, other, other people I'd want to recognize, uh, uh, Dr. Billy Cook, he's a division director. He's there in the back uh, visiting with Dr. Ron Gill. He, uh, he's a division director and he's been uh, at the helm for the past three years and, and we're certainly welcome to have him here in attendance this, uh, this day. Uh, we also have Dr. John Blanton over here on the right. He's in charge of our research uh, there in the Ag Division. And then uh, as we look around, you'll see there's a number of our consultants as well as uh, other folks that, that work there at the Noble Foundation that are here. And I, I can uh, point them out, but I think you'll be able to interact and visit with them throughout the day. I uh, want to recognize the people that have helped us put on this event here at the Convention Center as well as the you know, the ladies that put, put this together, y'all saw them out there at the registration desk, they do the hard work. They make sure that everything gets done, everything's ready when we set up and we pull up today. So we want to thank Robin and, and Tracy for all their effort as well. Uh, one of the things that we, we want to do is try to keep, kind of keep this thing moving. Lunch will be at 1145. I hope everybody can enjoy uh, beef. And with that being said, uh, we also had have uh, Heather Buckmaster from the Oklahoma Beef Council is going to be in and be able to talk a little bit about the beef industry and some things that are ongoing today that I think we need to be aware of. As I said earlier, we're excited about today. We're glad that you're here. Uh, what this event really represents to the Noble Foundation is that you know we, we've been host, hosting what we call the Texoma Pasture Conference this time for a number of years and had successful. It's extremely successful, but after going through the drought of 2011, we began to think, think about, well, what do we need to be doing for, to help the producers as we start into 2011, 2012? And you think about it, at that point in time, regardless if it was a good year or a, you know, a good winter or a bad winter, 
uh, we still need to be prepared to see what the long-term future looks relative to the ag, in ag industry, especially in Oklahoma and here in, in North Texas area. And so that's what we wanted to focus on with our Texoma Pasture Conference. Well, kind of behind the scenes with what we were planning for a kind of a developing a long-term uh, annual event that would be a more of a cattleman's conference, be a multi-day type of event as we went forward. We began to look at what the agenda shaped out to be and thought, you know, this might be the right time to say, let's call this the Cattlemen's Conference. And then what we will do is kind of seek an opportunity to place it where we feel like it's going to be have biggest benefit to you as producers. So if you look on your tables, in the center of your tables, you'll see not only do we have agendas, but we also have some questionnaires that we'd like for you to complete as we move forward. And your input is important. If you've ever attended any of our Noble Foundation events, we've done a lot of surveys. We're not going to have a survey. This is going to substitute for it. We want to know, one, what are the topics that you'd like for us to be able to present in a Texoma Cattlemen's Conference next year and years to come, and indicate your interest. And then if you have other ideas and things that you'd like for us to address, please indicate that in the box below. And then at the very bottom of the page, you'll see that we're asking what days, what two-day uh, time period would suit you best. Maybe it's, it's, it's early in the week, maybe it's a week, part of the weekend. We want to know when is best for you and what month. We're not married to being in April every year. We could be at any time. The things that we'd like to try to avoid are some of the things that, that are already ongoing. You know, we've got a very successful Oklahoma Cattlemen's Convention that's uh, there in August. We've got the Beef Cattle Short Course down at A&M about the beginning of August, as well as we've got the Southern Plains event that occurs there at the beginning of August. So we're trying to find a time to frame that best fits you as producers, the industry within our region, and then we'll begin to shape it as we go forward. So if, you're, if you would complete those while you're here today, it doesn't have to be done immediately, but just leave them on the table and we'll pick them up after the event. Okay, uh, just a couple little uh, housekeeping events before we get started. For those of you in Texas that, Texas that are looking for CEUs, we've got the sign-up sheet out front if you hadn't already signed up. And at the end of the event, uh, what we'll do is have you pick up your uh, uh, certificates and you'll be able to take that home, finish the, you're completing that out. But in order to pick up a certificate, you have to have your name on that uh, initial registration. Is there anything on that, Vanessa, I need to add to that? Okay, so uh, we, we, we're glad that we've been able to have the CEUs and, and uh, uh, Vanessa and, and Jason have been kind enough to help us make sure that we get that for you, Texas residents that would uh, like to get collect CEUs for this today's event. Also, presentations. We know that's one of the things that people would like to have a copy of. What we're going to do is make this available on our website, and you'll see the website. It pops up here on the screen from time to time, but just in case, it's just at the http colon backslash backslash www.noble.org backslash events backslash ag backslash T-E-X-O-M-A-C-C, Texoma CC. So you'll see it being popped up every, every now and then. Uh, but if you'd like a copy of what we're covering today, print it off there. If you have difficulty, call up here to the foundation. We'll be happy to print it off for you and, and send it to you. But uh, that kind of helps save us on, save us on paper as well as uh, the clutter that you may have to keep up with as you leave, as you go back and forth. We've got a lot of pa paperwork around here that you can use to take notes if you'd like to, if you need it. Uh, we'll be happy to provide it for it. The, the, the other thing that I wanted to, to say that if you've got your cell phones, if you just, just silence them, that way it'll be a little easier to get through the event today and, and uh, minimize interruptions. If you need to take a phone call, feel free to, you know, to get up and, and, and take it. We, we know that there's always critical things that, that are taking place. And hopefully the weather will hold for us and we'll be able to uh, have a successful event without any, any, any disturbances there. So. With that, is there anything, any other housekeeping I needed to cover? If not, we'll go ahead and, and, and begin to proceed. You know, as we've all have been very much well aware, La Nina impacted us last year, and the drought was probably the most severe that we had 
experienced, or at least in my lifetime, and in many others, if what we've talked to, you know, saying that it would compare to some of the some of what we was experienced back in the 50s. Good news is, is that we do know that El Nino is forming, which El Nino is kind of a wetter, uh, uh, milder weather weather pattern, more desirable for this part of the world. But the big question is, is how does that impact our forages, and how do we need to be planning for it as we go forward? If we don't. With that, uh, what we've got is uh, uh, Mr. Chuck Coffey. He's going to be talking a little bit about uh, you know planning through 2012, looking at the growing season and beyond. Some of the things to be thinking about. Uh, Chuck, uh, you know, hails from Texas. We got a couple of degrees from Texas A&M in, in pasture and range. He is our senior pasture and range consultant, and we're glad to, to have him here today. Not only has he been at the foundation for a little less than 20 years, but he also operates a, a, an operation up in the Arbuckles with his wife, Ruth, and their three kids. With that, Chuck, if you're ready, we'll go ahead and get started. <laughs> 